Today on Football's Play to Win, it's rivalry week in college football. Bragging rights and spots in the college football playoffs final four are on the line. Can the Falcons rise up and hold on to first place in the NFC South? It's football season in November, and it doesn't get any better than this for football fans. Get ready for the fastest 30 minutes in football. Today's show is being brought to you by the Southeast Nissan dealers, Mellow Mushroom Pizza Bakers, and Volvo Cars of Marietta. Welcome to football's Play to Win with Falcons All-Pro defensive end Chuck Smith, Falcons All-Pro offensive tackle Bob Whitfield, Fantasy Football League master Adam Brown, game analysis with Nikki Williams, Play to Win expert Jeffrey the Edge Schechter, medical and injury update with Dr. Andrew Lalaji, and your host, Atlanta sports legend Bob Neal. Today's SEC College Report is being brought to you by the Southeast Nissan Dealers. Choose Nissan.com. We all welcome you to the show. It is Rivalry Week. Auburn, Alabama, South Carolina, Clemson, Florida, Florida State, Michigan, Ohio State, Georgia Tech, and Georgia. We were debating whether or not that was a rivalry. I'd say it is a rivalry, <laughs> but Georgia's been dominating, right? Yeah, Georgia has been dominating, but to me, what is it? Old fashioned hate? Exactly. It's sort of like old fashioned fake hate, man. I, I mean, let's be real. It takes, <laughs> at the end of the day, man, George has been the dominant factor in this rival in this series. So it also you takes. called it a rivalry. Well, it takes. <laughs> yeah, I did almost. But it, 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 it takes pivotal games, yeah. games that mean something. And is it going to affect recruiting? No. Who are we talking about right now, really? Michigan, Ohio State. Yeah. We're really talking about also Alabama, Auburn. All right, let's start first of all with the rivalry and let's talk right. about, about Alabama. What do you expect from Alabama? Well, I expect Alabama to be like a UFC prize fight. The first thing is Lane Kiff is going to test them out and see what Auburn has. Kevin Steele, the defensive coordinator for Auburn, is going to stack the box. He's going to put eight guys at the line of scrimmage and make Jalen Hurts have to throw the ball. Right. Alabama is going to try to run the ball, set up some play-action pass, and then when they get comfortable, they come out and really open it up for Jalen Hurts. It's going to be a chess match between Kevin Steele and uh, Lane Kiffin. All right, let's, let's talk a little bit about Auburn's quarterback, Bob. Well, Bob, Auburn's quarterback's been up and down guessing game because Sean White, the quarterback's been hurt. But you saw last week, the what was his name? Uh, uh, Jeremy Johnson came in and he had an impressive game against a lower competition. But it looks like White's going to be back this week. But you have three people with Franklin, the third quarterback on the roster, that you could show up for uh, Auburn's offensive front. All right, let's take a look at the SEC schedule. A lot of big games, of course, this time of year. It goes without saying that the games are big as you see them there. I want to pick out one specifically there, as we're going to talk about all of them eventually, is South Carolina and Clemson. Chuck? They're a rivalry just because they play each other and they're near each other in the same state. But right now, man, Clemson, South Carolina, nothing about the program is on that level. Clemson's just going to win. There you but go. Right. Just, just put just put just I wish we could get yeah. Chuck to say what he means. Uh, <laughs> Nikki, Nikki, uh, Florida, Florida State. How about that one Well, this that's year? the thing about rivalry, guys. You don't have to have national championship implications for it to be a big deal. Right now, it's all about FSU seniors. They are trying to become the first class in Seminoles history to book a perfect 4-0 record against their biggest rivals, Miami and Florida. And the state of Florida's offense right now, I really think they might be able to get it done. And that's our SEC report. Today's show Showdown of the Week is being brought to you by the Georgia Lottery, where every jackpot is a good jackpot. All right, the Showdown of the Week, we take a look at games from around the country. Number three, Michigan, at number two, Ohio State. They call it the game. At least they call it that in the Big Ten. And Bob Whitfield, uh, the question I have for you is the Ohio State offense versus a very good Michigan defense. Well, as of late, the Ohio State offense have been only J.T. Barrett, Bob. It's that quarterback. And when your quarterback is rushing the ball the most, that's when you have a problem. And that vaunted Michigan defense with your Brill Peppers and a, a secondary that shuts people down in man coverage, look for that Ohio State offense to have to pick it up in the run game to be successful. Yeah, and the question to you, Chuck Smith, mm -hmm. is the Michigan offense good enough to pick it up in the run game and otherwise? Well, I'll tell you, the Michigan offense absolutely is not good enough to beat this Ohio State top front five in college football. They got Devian Smith. He's the running back at Michigan. Yeah. 
I mean, the guy, let's be real, he's ran the ball pretty good, but last week against Indiana, kind of suspect, but did pretty good. But against this defense, there's no way. Michigan's a pro-style offense, Bob. They're run heavy. They're, they're not going to be able to throw. The quarterback's knocked up. I think this week Michigan's going to get smashed because they're one-dimensional, and Ohio State's going to take advantage. Okay, and what I'd like to know, Jeffrey, is who wins the game, Ohio State's favored. Both teams have been doing a little struggling lately, but I think Ohio State's got too much firepower if they get up on Michigan. Game's over. I like Ohio State. Give it six and a half. Okay. When we come back, we're going to talk NFL. And if the playoffs were to start today, who'd be where? Stay with us on Football's Play to Win. It's Black Friday, and we're taking the galaxy by storm. The new 2017 Nissan Rogue has arrived, and it's at your local Nissan dealer during the Go Rogue year-end event. Hurry in for Black Friday savings on Rogue and the rest of the Nissan lineup. Take on any galaxy. Rogue One, a Star Wars story, in theaters December 16th. Get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 13 models, or save up to $10,000 on select Nissans. If you or a loved one has been seriously injured in an accident, don't drop the ball by letting the insurance company run all over you. I worked as an insurance lawyer for 10 years and I know their tactics and game plan. I'm Roger Orlando of the Orlando Firm. Let our 30 years of experience tackle the insurance company for you. Our team will get you every dollar you deserve. So put the ball in our hands and we'll get your case across the goal line. Find us online at Atlanta.law or call 678-LAW-FIRM. A foot and lighthearted I take to the open road. Healthy, free, the world before me, the long brown path before me leading wherever I choose. The east and the west are mine, the north and the south are mine. All seems beautiful to me. Lease the all new 2017 Volvo S90 for only $4.99 per month at Volvo Cars of Marietta. Crunch it. It's time for the office secret center. Pick a name, go on. Who'd you get? Well, I got you, sir. Oh, fancy that. I got you. He has a holiday scratcher. Could be worth millions. Oh, I'd be truly grateful, sir. <clears throat> I want you to have it. No, I don't. Oh, good gracious. Sorry, this is very hard for me. I'll try again. OK. No, I failed myself. It's the gift that's almost too good to give. Spread cheer with holiday scratchers from the Georgia Lottery. Today's NFL report is being brought to you by Landmark Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. Always the best deal. Always. All right, welcome back. It's that time of the year we start looking about if they started today as teams are jockeying for position. If the playoffs started today in the AFC, the bye week would go to New England and to Oakland. The wild card games would be Houston and Denver and Baltimore and Kansas City. Let's take a look at the NFC. Dallas at Seattle is the bye week. Detroit, Washington, Atlanta, and the Giants. And Bob Whitfield, what I want to know is do you think the Pats and the Cowboys can hold on. Well, definitely, Bob. They both use a good formula to, to stay at the top. Stingy on defense and a generous offense that will score a lot of points and get a lot of yards. And what you have in the Dallas Cowboys, you have a running attack with Ezekiel Elliott. And what you have in the New England Patriots, you have a defense that is slowing people down. I think they're the fifth-ranked defense yeah. in the league right now. And you have two good teams that do it well on offense and defense, Bob. All right, Chuck, how about another? any other dangerous teams? Well, I'll tell you this. Seattle is dangerous. Let yeah. me tell you, man, since they played the Atlanta <clears throat> Falcons and the Falcons, you know, gave them all they could handle out in Seattle, this Seattle team is ferocious. And I'm going to tell you, one of the most underrated coaches of this past generation is Pete Carroll in the National Football League. Every week, Seattle comes out and plays, and Russell Wilson – quietly is having an MVP type of season. Watch out for them Seahawks because they are the Dallas Cowboy Busters if the Cowboys get that far. <laughs> Seahawks are the Dallas Cowboy, Cowboy Busters. Busters. Watch out for them Falcons too now. Way with words. <laughs> Jeffrey, team to watch. Definitely Seattle at Tampa. Seattle's playing great. Tampa's come on. They won their last two games. They won in Kansas City, which nobody wins in Kansas City. Look out for Tampa. And the Browns struggling. My question for you, can they have a perfect season? Do you have a stronger word for struggle, Bob? <laughs> According to 538, they are the worst in the NFL right now. So bad that even one of their fans is pleading for them to bring in a college team for them to play. This fan was wow. caught holding up a sign that said, we want Bama. I mean, they'd just rather... I'd, I'd, 
We had this discussion earlier. <laughs> I don't know. Would Bama win? I don't know. Bama uh, wouldn't win. No. Listen, the, it's, the pro teams are so deep at so many places with number one and two draft choices that but, the old question of could a college team beat them, I don't think so. This is the fantasy of football world these days. Everybody's – it's a fantasy world. The Falcons, by the way, uh, welcome in the Arizona Cardinals this weekend. And, Bob Whitfield, Whitfield what about the Falcons' offense against these Cardinals? Well, the Falcons' offense is number one in the league. But they'll be facing a stubborn defense with the uh, Cardinals defense being number one as well. And that defense is only giving up 284 yards a game. And Atlanta, who's been high flying at 400-something yards, will be in for a tough challenge, Bob. So look for this game to go into the, the, the fourth quarter very close. But, you know, I like Falcons to prevail. Could be a defensive game, would you think? Well, yeah, first and foremost for the Falcons. They would yeah. have to stop the run. David Johnson's been running the rock, doing a good job. But the last two games, Arizona's only had, what, 79 yards. They've lost two starting offensive linemen, Bob, this year. So they're on the injured reserve. This team now is really a run first team, but they, they're going to be forced to throw the ball with Carson Palmer. They haven't had a lot of success. The Falcons should attack this offense, shut down the run, and I would send as many guys as I can to Carson Palmer to try to bludgeon him in the pocket. That's the Falcons recipe for success. He's been bludgeoned quite a bit, yeah, which leads has. me to my question for yeah. you, Nikki. What about, is he washed up? Is he done? <laughs> Fair or not, this is kind of what's going on out there. The fans think he's done. Analysts are saying he's done. After last week's loss to the Vikings, he completed 20 of 38 passes for 198 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions, and he got sacked four times. So he got banged up pretty bad. Pretty bad. He's 36. He's not going to take any team to a title. He's an on-field liability. If you're asking me personally, yeah, I would, I would say that he's done. I'll join the masses on that. There's also talk of Tony Romo coming in and taking over. That's it. i got to get you guys to say your opinions. You all say your opinions. That's good. I like that. Now, let's get this opinion from this guy, and that is, is Palmer done? Uh, what's your pick? Uh, Atlanta, what do you think? I don't think Palmer's done. He got his brains beat in last week. They scored, still scored 24 points. And if Atlanta thinks they're going to let him sit in the pocket, he'll pick them apart all day. Now remember this, David Johnson is the best offensive player in football, but I'm a hometown guy, so I'm going to give the floor with Atlanta. That O line is like a string of toilet paper, though. A <laughs> string of toilet paper. Ah, wet, toilet, very wet, graphic, toilet. wet toilet paper here, too. <laughs> We're going to come back in just a moment and talk about that Georgia Georgia Tech rivalry. A lot of rivalries. This one they call good, clean, old fashioned hate when we come back right here on Football's Play to Win. <laughs> Landmark's turning Black Friday into Green Friday. Get your Black Friday sales event discounts, plus giant bonus discounts on top of that. Choose from over 1,500 cars and trucks. Our Green Friday beats their Black Friday every time. Landmark's number one because we do deals the other guys just won't. Shop us online at LandmarkAutomotive.com. Nobody beats Landmark. Nobody. Always the best deal. Always. Is your heater blowing cold air? I'm Tommy Estes. Turn to the experts at Estes and Carrier. We've been installing and repairing heating systems in Atlanta since 1949. The best time to schedule that annual tune-up is now. So go to EstesAir.com today. Congratulations, Stan. You won the Cash for Life game, so this is yours. No way! No way! No way! I'll get the ladder again. Winning never gets old with Georgia's brand new draw game where you can win up to $1,000 a day for life. Introducing Cash for Life, all new from the Georgia Lottery. It's Black Friday, and we're taking the galaxy by storm. The new 2017 Nissan Rogue has arrived, and it's at your local Nissan dealer during the Go Rogue year-end event. Hurry in for Black Friday savings on Rogue and the rest of the Nissan lineup. Take on any galaxy. Rogue One, a Star Wars story, in theaters December 16th. Get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 13 models, or save up to $10,000 on select Nissans. Wake up on the first day of winter and find out your heater is not working? We can fix that. I'm Brian Estes. Turn to the experts at Estes and Carrier. We'll make sure your system is running at peak efficiency with our winter inspection. Don't wait till it's too late. Go to EstesAir.com today. Today's hometown team report is brought to you by Mellow Mushroom Pizza Bakers, a higher order of pizza for your tailgating events. 
one of the top rivalries nationally amongst the Big Ten and the SEC and the Pac-12, et cetera, is Georgia Tech and Georgia, of course. My question to you, Chuck Smith, is how important is the rivalry? <laughs> well, the rivalry is really You're laughing. Uh, I am laughing because I've been here and I really just started looking at it this way growing up here in Georgia. This rivalry is, is really not really as passionate as people say it is because Georgia's completely dominated the series as of late. Georgia Tech fans are always looking up at Georgia. It seems to be that way. And at the end of the day, the SEC trumps the ACC, especially with the guys that are at the middle and the bottom end, Bob, with Georgia Tech compared to Georgia. So, you know, I think Georgia Tech, it's an uphill climb when you try in the game respecting the rivalry when there really is truly no rivalry, in yeah. my opinion. And, Nikki, well, you've got some numbers. Hold on. As lopsided as you're saying this rivalry is, no. though, the last three games have come down to seven points or less. And you know what? Whichever team has won the turnover battle the last 11 times has won the game. So you turn that ball over, you win, according to the last 11 times. They've even gone into overtime and double overtime. So overtime so makes it a rivalry. Well, I'm just what saying. What makes it a rivalry? Is it a hot ticket? Nationally, they're closer who we, games than you're painting we, them. Did we be. start this show out with Georgia and Georgia Tech, or did we start with Ohio and Michigan, or did we talk about Auburn, Alabama? Bob hmm. said it was a bigger I'm rivalry than them. I'm just saying. Just Play saying. Bob. <laughs> That's all I'm, I'm saying. And I'm, I'm gonna let that go. There. I'm the one who thinks the Michigan mm -hmm. Ohio game. <laughs> this week's keys to success is brought to you by Volvo Cars of Marietta, where you can always expect the best. Let's talk about the keys to this game. Let's start with Georgia, Bob. Well, Bob, it's Georgia's defense. Paul Johnson at uh, Georgia Tech as head coach, he has had a team have 400-plus yards in rushing against Georgia three times. So it's up to Davin Bellamy and that Georgia linebacking core to really stop that offensive attack, that rushing attack from Georgia Tech. And I don't know if they can handle that triple option scheme, but it should be a competitive game. Keys to the Georgia Tech. Well, first for offense, Georgia Tech has to have success on first downs. They cannot get negative yards running the ball on first downs. they got to get positive yards. For the defense, what they have to do, Georgia Tech likes to slant their defensive front forward left and right a lot. So what happens is if Georgia's offense washes them by, it's going to give Sony Michelle and Chubb, Nick Chubb a lot of room to run. Georgia Tech's defensive line has to be stout and hold their blocks, hold their control, and get off the blocks and make some plays. Otherwise, look, look out for the cutbacks. Look out for the cutbacks, yeah. Exactly. How, who exactly. are you picking? Here's my keys. My minivan's got 306,000 miles. Anybody wants it. <laughs> That's your keys. Both teams are 7 and 4. Tech kind of turned it around two weeks ago with big wins over Virginia and Virginia Tech. Georgia 7 and 4. They beat two good teams. I like Tech with the points. All right, you're liking Georgia Tech and the good, clean, old-fashioned hate rivalry. I love that because he's a Tennessee guy, as you will. Okay, we're going to come back and talk about must-starts in your fantasy football league when we continue with Football's Play to Win. Do you suffer from irritability, boredom, and chronic cravings? Mellow Mushroom's craft pizza, beer, and cocktails are clinically proven to improve your mood and leave you with a full belly. Mellow Mushroom is fast acting, giving you relief when you need it the most. Side effects of Mellow Mushroom may include salivation, euphoria, and an insatiable craving for more Mellow Mushroom. Ask your doctor about Mellow Mushroom. She may want to come with you. Afoot and lighthearted, I take to the open road. Healthy, free, the world before me, the long brown path before me leading wherever I choose. The east and the west are mine, the north and the south are mine. All seems beautiful to me. Lease the all-new 2017 Volvo S90 for only $4.99 per month at Volvo Cars of Marietta. Every TV doctor knows when preparing for surgery, use an overpronounced washing technique for dramatic effect. They also know you need to get your annual checkup. Now prepare for your checkup with one touch using the MySigna app, where you can find a doctor in your plan's network to save money, manage your health, and more. Need to be thorough. Cigna, together, all the way. X. X is that unknown factor. X is provocative. X is where you find the shiny stuff. X is love, and lust, and power, and pomp. This is the X side of infinity. Experience the first ever Infinity QX30. 
at your Atlanta area Infinity Retailer. Today's fantasy report is being brought to you by SD Services, serving all of Atlanta since 1949. Adam Brown not with us this week, but I've got all the information you need to know on who to play here in your fantasy teams this week. And let's start with the quarterbacks and running backs. Aaron Rodgers plays against the Eagles and Matt Ryan. It's going to be all about protecting Ryan from that Arizona pass rush. Derek Carr versus Carolina. Carolina 25th in pass D and you see the running backs who should be good to go this week are Hill and Rawls and the wide receivers and tight ends Odell Beckham Jr. will be versus the Browns statistically the worst defense in the NFL and Julio Jones for the Falcons only five TDs only one in the last three ten catches last week no TDs let's just say that Julio is due and now it's time for the Ippolitos you be the expert. This season, be sure to visit our website, playingtowin.tv, and take a shot to be number one by picking this week's college and NFL winners against the spread. We'll be giving away Ippolito's $100 and $50 gift certificates to each week's first and second place winners. So make sure you come back early and often, prove your football IQ by being the best at predicting college and NFL games. We'll be right back and talk about the playoff possibilities for the Atlanta Falcons right here on Football's Play to Win. Today's show is being brought to you by Longhorn Steakhouse and the Georgia Lottery. Wake up on the first day of winter and find out your heater doesn't work? We can fix that. I'm Tommy Estes. Turn to the experts at Estes and Carrier. We'll make sure your system is running at peak efficiency with our winter safety inspection. Don't wait till it's too late. Go to EstesAir.com today. Landmark's turning Black Friday into Green Friday. Get your Black Friday sales event discounts plus giant bonus discounts on top of that. Choose from over 1,500 cars and trucks. Our Green Friday beats their Black Friday every time. Landmark's number one because we do deals the other guys just won't. Shop us online at LandmarkAutomotive.com. Nobody beats Landmark. Nobody. Always the best deal. Always. Is your heater blowing cold air? We can fix that. I'm Brian Estes. Turn to the experts at Estes and Carrier. We've been installing and repairing heating systems in Atlanta since 1949. The best time to schedule that annual tune-up is now. So go to EstesAir.com today. Cratchit, it's time for the office secret center. Pick a name. Go on. Who'd you get? Well, I got you, sir. Oh, fancy that. I got you. Here's a holiday scratcher. Could be worth millions. Oh, I'd be truly grateful, sir. <laughs> I want you to have it. No, I don't. Oh, good gracious. Sorry, this is very hard for me. I'll try again. Okay. No, I failed myself. It's the gift that's almost too good to give. Spread cheer with holiday scratchers from the Georgia Lottery. Find Black Friday deals right now during Toyotathon at Stone Mountain Toyota. Time to save big on your new Toyota. Get 0% financing on a new 2017 Camry, new 2017 Corolla, or new 2017 RAV4. And you don't make a payment for 90 days. See all of our Toyotathon Black Friday specials at StoneMountainToyota.com. Stone Mountain Toyota, a great price, a great buying experience. Come in and have a cup of coffee with me today. Today's player injury and medical report is being brought to you by the Orlando Law Firm. Put a former insurance lawyer in your corner. Dr. A not with us this week, but I've got a player injury report for you here. Let's get started with C.J. Procise, the running back. Uh, as you see, his first season in the NFL, Procise has a scapula fracture. Recovery time's about eight weeks, so don't start him is the word. Now let's go to Giovanni Bernard. Bernard has a torn ACL. He will be out for the rest of the season, so obviously don't start him either. And now LaShawn McCoy has a dislocated thumb. He is struggling with it, but is expected to play on Sunday. So that's the player medical report. And now it's time to check in with Sandra Golden at 680 The Fan. She's cautiously optimistic. Riddle me this. How do you have a bye week and actually lose? That's what the Atlanta Falcons managed to do. They wake up on a Monday morning after a bye week and find themselves now the four seed. So they drop a spot. They lose a spot in the playoffs. Yeah, Dallas, Seattle, and Detroit now ahead of the Falcons. If they played today, it would be the Giants. I think we're getting ahead of ourselves as we looked to last year. 
we're used to that collapse. So you're now looking at where, where is it going to all fall off? Six games to go. Cardinals are coming into town. Very important game down at the Dome. You don't need to sandwich your bye week with two losses. You got to beat the Cardinals. They just lost to the Vikings. And also, the top six teams atop the NFC, the only one that's at 500 at home is the Atlanta Falcons at 2-2. Two and two. Folks, you need to do this. There's no place like home. There's no place like the Dome. All right, there is no place like home. There is no place like home. Sandra, if you say it, I will do it. Coming up next, Jeffrey. Jeffrey was really good last week, six out of six. He has his predictions as we continue with football's play to win. In football, as in the legal system, it helps to know your opponent. I'm Roger Orlando, and I used to work for the insurance companies. I've seen their playbook, and I know their game plan. If you've been hurt in an auto accident, call me at 678-LAW-FIRM. You never know when the moment will strike. And when it does, you want to be ready. Mellow Mushroom's craft pizza, beer, and cocktails can help you enjoy a more satisfying eating experience. Mellow Mushroom is safe for daily use. If you find yourself sitting in a Mellow Mushroom for more than four hours, you may want to go home and come back another day. Mellow Mushroom is not for everyone. Just kidding, it is. Ask your doctor about Mellow Mushroom. He may want to come with you. It's Black Friday and we're taking the galaxy by storm. The new 2017 Nissan Rogue has arrived, and it's at your local Nissan dealer during the Go Rogue year-end event. Hurry in for Black Friday savings on Rogue and the rest of the Nissan lineup. Take on any galaxy. Rogue One, a Star Wars story, in theaters December 16th. Get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 13 models, or save up to $10,000 on select Nissans. If you've been seriously injured in an accident, don't get blindsided by the insurance company. I'm Roger Orlando, and I've built a winning team to run interference against the insurance companies and get your case across the goal line. Call me at 678-LAW-FIRM. Congratulations, Stan. You won the Cash for Life game, so this is yours. No way! No way! No way! I'll get the ladder again. Winning never gets old with Georgia's brand new draw game where you can win up to $1,000 a day for life. Introducing Cash for Life, all new from the Georgia Lottery. Today's lightning round is brought to you by Longhorn Steakhouse, now featuring great American steak dinner. Longhorn Steakhouse, you can't fake steak. All right, time for Jeffrey's picks. We're going to start out with Oregon, Oregon State, formerly the Civil War. I mean, it is the Civil War. Oregon is terrible. Take Oregon State with the three. Minnesota is eight and three. Tough team. They're going to hang in with Wisconsin. Take the 14 and a half. My hat's off to Florida. That was a great win at LSU with a great goal line stand. McElwain's a great coach. Take the six and a half with the Gators. All right, how about the NFL? Carolina's defense, uh, I think Carr's going to pick up a part, give the three and a half with Oakland. Alert to Atlanta. Beware of Tampa. They're coming on. They're getting healthy. And I like them against Seattle this week. Take the six. Kansas City, Denver, the old AFL. This game will come down to a late field goal. I like KC with the points. All right, that's it for all of us. Hope your team wins. We'll see you next week on Football's Play to Win. Today's show has been brought to you by the Orlando Law Firm, SD Services, and Landmark Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram.